Uh, we are connected. Let's see what we're gonna use. Obviously, Blastoise. The team was phenomenal yesterday. I, we only lost like two uh, twice. The first match, I think we lost three times. And the last match because I got really tired. But the team is here. Really, really good team. This team looks cool for my opponent. If I had to guess, I would say this is a Water Urshifu because they already have two Dark types. But this could also be Dark Urshifu still. But I'm just gonna assume that this is Water Urshifu because it, make it, it makes a lot of sense on the team as well. What I wanna lead is probably the Blastoise again. Because we have Wakaberry and if Cartana is coming, we have Intimidate in the back. Oh, I, I could just lead with Incineroar immediately. Mm, Incin, Blastoise, Rillaboom and Sakataka. This less, leaves me a little bit weak to Nihiligo lead, but I feel like it's fine. Let's see, I feel like I need Thunderous, but at the same time, I. I don't know. I need Intimidate as well because like I need Sakataka in this matchup. I need Rillaboom in this matchup. I want Blastoise and the last one was either Incin or uh, Thunderous. But if I don't bring Incin, I'm going to be super, super weak to... Uh... Yo, what's up, Shade? What's up, Steph? Let's see, there's Zapdos Grimstall. So this is probably pretty good for me. If I get a Yarn of the Zapdos, I will be in an amazing spot. If they fake tears, I'm going to take too much damage. Yeah, I will just drop. So what we do is I... GMX cannonade the Zapdos and I party shot the Zapdos. What they could do as well is they trick my uh, Wakamberry away. I don't know if they know that I have Wakamberry, but they could still do the play, right? They max, okay. If I fake out, it leaves me in a weird option where uh, their next airstream just KOs me, which is like not ideal if they decide to uh, attack the instant. So this way I get a party shot off and uh, I do damage. I bring my Stakataka, force them to max lightning when I bring in my uh, really boom and then I can kind of stall out their their turns, right? So let's see They actually fake tears. Okay, the airstream. Oh God, I mean is that a crit? Bro all the luck we had yesterday left us But it's fine. We got torrent now. Let's see. This is torrent and it's gonna hurt a lot. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, we get a party shot off. I think this is cool. The question is, do I bring in Sagataka or Rillaboom? I want Rillaboom, but I'm not sure. Yeah, this is crazy. This is really crazy. Uh, but I have to make a decision here. Like, I either get a trade here, or I just am greedy and try to... No, no, no. I have to. I have to trade here. What I can do, though, is I max guard now, and I protect... Just to solve one more turn, it's only not good if they switch out. Actually, you have to target down the Blastoise here, dude. No, no, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't. Because they already airstream, so they should be faster with the Grimmsnarl. So I feel like they spirit break the, the Blastoise and Max Lightning, the stack attacker. But you never know. They fake, ooh. They actually completely ignore the Blastoise. What a madman. Taka takes some damage, but like what I have to accomplish in this match uh, is um, Wait for or stall out the max and then I have fake out pressure and then I just fake out trick room and try to win with the stack attacker But it's gonna be rough. I need stack attacker. Like if I lose stack attacker, we just lose the match So I'm not gonna let it get touched by a lot of things here and they might make a read here But honestly if they do I don't care get rid of the Zapdos and swap in Rillaboom because instant might drop. Yeah, I swap in Rillaboom now. Because like even if they make a read, I still get a uh, free switch in, right? Like even if they target down the uh, Blasters as well, it's still fine. The only thing I don't like is we don't know if this um, Grimstone has taunt or not. They factors? Okay. Let's see if they mix lightning here. I don't think they would, but they could. Oh, nice. Into? Okay, this is really good. This is extremely good. This didn't do anything. I think this was the best possible outcome because I was already ready to at least sack 1-1, one, one, right? Um, and not get anything out of it un um, outside of having a new free switch in and fake out trick rooming. But this is like the best case scenario. I think we haven't lost a single Mon. Uh, we have residual damage going and uh, I still have Intimidate in the back. So this is really good. The only bad thing is that they removed my grassy terrain, but it's still like... I couldn't ask for more. They completely disrespect my uh, Blastoise. Like, they targeted down in turn one, but they ignored it in all the other turns. Okay, uh, there's Cortana. Let's see what I want to do. I have fake out pressure. Let's not forget about that. Like, the Grimstone should be faster. Like, even if it's neutral, like, if it's neutral Grimstone, it should be 80 speed stat. Uh, if it got an airstream, it should be 120 at least. So, 120 outspeeds my Blastoise. I don't want to give my opponent... Actually, no, no. What I do is I switch in Incin and I U-turn. No, 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 I switch in Incin and I fake, uh, fake out. And next turn, I think I fake out again, bring in Stakataka, and then I protect Stakataka, bring in Rillaboom, and have fake out and Trick Room. It's like, it's a long process, but I think we will be able to accomplish this. Let's see. 
Like, right now it's just about positioning. Let's see what they do. Spirit break. Okay, the instant. Nice. Um, and we still have residual damage. This is, like, really good. Um, okay, now we fake out. Actually, they might switch out the Kartana as well. But I'm gonna fake out and I'm gonna, I'm gonna U-turn. The Grim Style in case... Uh, they switch out the, uh, the Kartana. Okay, they switch out the Kartana. Let's see what they have. I think it's not illegal. Let's go. That's really good. Because now we get in a free, uh, stack attacker switch. It's not completely free. But this is really good. See what you do? They reflect. Okay, this is actually screens. So we know the moves. Fake tears, screens, and spirit break. Uh, we get a U-turn off. So my only issue is... If I bring in Sagataka now, they could go for Meteor Beam plus Fake Tears, and I think that KO Sagataka. It should. Uh, because Nihiligo is uh, insanely strong. But I think it's fine. Like, I just need a free Fake Out turn. I think I know what I want to do. I bring in Blastoise. Ah, no, 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 I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. Like, I still need Instant, right? For... I don't need Instant. I don't need Blastoise. But what if they ignore my Blastoise here? Oh, that's really ugly. I think this is my best play. Because like even if they Meteor Beam, I don't die. And they wouldn't fake tears in Sin because uh, it's a dark type. So by this, I get fake out and I get trick room up. And then we should win. Oh, they just protect. Okay, that's even better for me. Why not parting shot and protect? Because if they just Meteor Beam, they will be at plus two. And I won't do anything back. And I still need my instant because of the Kartana. And like we don't know what my opponent's uh, tricks are, so like, I just want to play it as safe as possible. So I fake out now, and since it protected, I could just body press it. The thing is, we lose if uh, Grimstan actually has taunt, uh, but nah, trick room. I, there's no way they have taunt. They switch, okay. Don't have taunt, please. Even if they do, it's still not game over. Nice, 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 okay. Um... We might actually be able to win this 4-0, even though it looked so scary. But this is like how this team works. Like you have to preserve all of your members. No, like if Blastoise died, that would have been fine, right? Like we don't need Blastoise anymore. It's just, I guess, nice to have or something we can sacrifice to or sack to have a free switch in. But other than that, like if if one of those members dies in the, the early game, you won't be able to get your grassy terrain up. So that means that you won't have your seed and your defense boost, you won't have fake out pressure, you won't have the terrain to save you from earthquakes. So it's like really important to uh, not lose your members. I think what I do is, just to play it super safe, I get an instant and I body press the Kartana. I could heavy slam the Grimstar, but since uh, Kartana is uh, running Sacred Sword, it is just ignoring my uh, defense drops or defense boosts. So this way, um, I get Intimidate offs to make up for, for that. So I think we're in a really good spot here. Kartana is probably Assault West because it didn't detect or protect. And is that a knockout? It is. Let's go. Behind Reflect, dude. Let's go. Oh, this is this game, basically. Because we have Fake Out Pressure now, and they just keep Spirit Breaking. Yeah. Like, this is, like, a prime example how this team can work if your opponents are not prepared for a stack attacker. Like, stack attacker in the end game is so incredibly good against a lot of things in the meta. Like, what is Grimstone going to do? What is Clefairy going to do? What is, uh... I don't know, once you boost it, even Instant doesn't do anything. Even, like, a Sacred Sword doesn't KO me. Even if they're not intimidated. So this is, like, really crazy. I just fake out the Nihiligo, and I heavy slam the Grimstone. In case they do something weird. Yeah, it's really good. Base... 211 and that's without IVs uh, like if you play a lot of defense it can go to up uh, up to 289 like this has a defense stat without grassy seed imagine you add a grassy seed boost onto that it's just impossible to kill and you would KO nearly everything that you touch super effectively with uh, with a body press that was actually 4-0 right I didn't expect to 4 my opponent based on how things were looking. Like, the Zapdos already destroyed me uh, in turn one. We, like, I had to make decisions whether to sack something or not, but the fact that we didn't lose our Rillaboom or our Stagataka uh, made us win this game. Like, Stagataka is the only reason I won this. I just Flare Blitz and Heavy Slam. Uh, body Press should do more. Even though Heavy Slam is stab, they go for a double. I don't blame him. Yeah, I, I need to... Um, Remember, oh, they were Sash. Oh, it just took it. Wait, how did this Nihiligo take this? 
There's no way, dude. This was probably max defense. But GG. GG. This was crazy. Ooh, that's what I take. That's that's a cool team. Like, you don't normally see uh, a lot of Manoras and Dragapults on the same team because they share their uh, the same weakness against, uh, I don't know, opposing Dragapults or uh, Urshifus um, or even Spectres. It's gonna be hard for my opponent, I think, to to justify that. But, I mean, we don't have Spectres or Urshifus, so it's gonna be strong against us, for sure. What do we lead? I think Blastoise is really good here, even though they have this, there's a Finny. Also, I don't know what the Thunders is gonna do. Like, it could be support, but it could be offensive. I feel like my opponent already has two good dynamic spawns, so it makes me believe that the Thunders is support. Blastoise, Thunders, um, Rillaboom, and Sektaka. Like, Ensign looks really good, but I can't justify it. It's like double clay body plus Finny, plus the uh, potential Defiant is like really hard to bring Ensign. And like, this might be support uh, Thunders with Breaking Swipe. Not breaking swipe. What's the other move? Brutal swing. Because uh, you want to proc your weakness policy. Okay, seeing this lead, I'm really happy, I think. Let's see, we do cannonades and I T-bolt. Actually, what if they switch into Finny? That would be bad. Sometimes I wish I had protect on the Thunders. If I did, I could have done I could do so many good plays. Like right now, if I had protect on Thunders, I would just protect Thunders, go for cannonade into uh, the Rage of Lecky. And then we'd be in an okay spot. Like, we don't have to risk too much, right? So I get rid of the Regilecki, and I have to Thunder Wave, I guess. Let's hope they don't switch into Finny here. They don't. Nice. And they max. Ooh. Wait. This is either Lecky or super fast Manigross, but it should be a Lecky. Ooh, it's a super fast Manigross. Wait, is this... This is nearly max speed Manigross, if it outspeeds my Blastoise. But this is fine, I think. Okay, we get the Thunder Wave off. Really, really important. Um, And now we outspeed. My power of Volt switches into my Blastoise, so they probably bring in the Finny. Um, but that's good. Like, I was fearing a hard swap um, because I would I would not be able to get a T-Wave off, but this way it's really good. I see if you actually have Finny. You should. Like, Finny is not bad here. It is the Finny. Okay. But next turn, if I will survive with the Thunderous, I don't know if I will. I'm just gonna T-Bolt this slot. And T-Bolt should pick it up for me, unless my opponent goes to Max Quake. Ah, it's not T-Bolt range, actually. Oh, they max Quake. Okay, good play. Good play. We max Cannonade the Metagross just to do some damage. Like, I have to win this game with a uh, stack attack in the late game. As always. Like, it, it's just the cleaner. But I have to make sure that uh, I don't lose too much in the process. I think I T-Bolt. My opponent might protect, but I have to cover this. And yeah, like, I have to bring this Metagross um, low enough so that uh, Body Press will be enough. Like, I don't think my opponent's gonna... Ooh, they just don't even protect. I don't think they're gonna spam uh, max seed spikes here. They move less. Okay, not gonna do a lot. Okay, he did. And lowered my special attack. Okay, my opponent could spam another max quake, or they just go for hailstorm or rockfall if they have it. But we get cannonade off. That's gonna do a little bit. A good good amount of chip, actually. Yeah. Full para. Oh, they have hailstorm. Let's see. We drop to this 100%. So now what I have to do is, I might hard switch into Stag Attacker here to get my Grassy Zed. Uh, but it's gonna be tough. I might also just U-turn. I think that's the better play. Like, I bring in Rillaboom and I U-turn so that my opponent won't go for Max uh, Quake there. And I feel like I would force uh, the Finny out as well so that my opponent resets uh, Misty Terrain. Yeah, this is a really, really weird game. I cannonade the Metagross. And I U-turn the Metagross. I think that's my best play. Okay, now they protect. Um, I was fearing a hard switch. But them protecting here is really good for us. Because I U-turn, they're probably gonna max seed spike my second attacker, and I'll be in a good spot. Because it's not gonna do a lot of damage. And I will be able to, I don't know, protect and get in my Rillaboom, then we fake out Trick Room, and then we can try to, to get Chaos. And like hitting this Blastoise again here, or this Metagross here, is really good. Um, because now it should be in range of... Oh, they just hit some again. Oh, that's even better. That's like gonna do like, I don't know, 10%. <laughs> Nothing, dude. Nothing. Not even 10%. The question is, do I risk my stack attacker to get attacked here or not? Or to get to go down? Because Muddy Water plus uh, Stomach Tantrum might be enough. I think it should be enough, actually. So I think I hard switch my um, my Blastoise out into the Rillaboom. Ah, what if I just Hydro Cannon the Metagross? The game is super good so far, honestly. It felt like I'm gonna lose, but... We have options. I mean, they could make a read here, but I feel like they're not in a position to do that. Go into Rillaboom. 
They should muddy water and stomach tantrum, I think, most of the time, because they have like a really offensive team with Ray Jalecki in the back. They muddy water, don't lower my accuracy, please. And even if they ice punch, they don't pick up a KO. And they haven't been fully paralyzed so far, so it's about time. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what we uh, anticipated. We even have a free KO here if we want to take it. Dude, my opponent's playing so well. It's just possible to do this place because I know my opponent is a, is a good player. I don't think they let me have the Finny here. What do they have in the back? Nothing that stops Takataka. So I fake out the Metagross. Actually, Stomach Tantrum is not gonna do a lot. It's like not even a weakness policy boosted and it didn't fail. So I think I uh, Grassy Glide the Finny and I go for Trick Room. If they crit me, it's gonna be sad, but other than that... Yeah, because they can't afford to not Muddy Water there. If I just fake out the uh, Metagross, I immediately win. So they wanted to make sure to double attack. And there's a Fully Para. Let's go. That's probably game deciding, I want to say. Um, because they have Regilecki, and we don't know about the last one. Like, it's either Thunderous or Dragapult or something else. I don't remember the last one, but this is really good. Like, the mana is not going to do anything, right? And it's like a free um, beast boost for us. Let's see what's coming. The Dragapult. I don't know if that's the one you want to have in the back. But I knock off, and I body press. Ally Switch is the only thing that could be annoying, but... I don't think it would be ally switch. Like, it, I don't see this Dragapult as a support mod on this team. Okay, we body press, perfect. Um, like, uh, knockoff is not gonna be enough, I think, but it's gonna bring it in, in range of heavy slam. Definitely, let's see. Yeah, let's see if it's life orb. Oh, it was life orb. Oh, they actually have wisp. It's not terrible, because, like, I don't care. I'm already super, super boosted. Um, I'm at plus two, and that's still enough for a Regilecki. And I still have Grassy Terrain as well. That was a cool game. Really cool game. But this is how the team works. Like, you, you basically stall out as much as possible, but you have to max as well, right? Like, if you don't max, your opponent's max is just gonna uh, snowball um, over your team. So you kind of have to endure their max, and then late game second attacker just wins. Because it's amazing. I'm gonna double the Regilecki because I don't care about uh, Dragapult. Even if they protect, it's still fine. Because Regilecki is the only threat here. That's fine. They can get another Will O Wisp off. It's completely fine. They've had him force. We have enough uh, Trick Room turns to justify playing like this. Because even if they get a double protect, we still have another turn, right? If I remember correctly. I just Grassy Glide again. And Body Press. Okay, they don't protect. That's really good. Um, yeah, look at this damage. It's like burned, uh, but it doesn't care. GG. GG. I wonder what my opponent's gonna Phantom Force. Is it into Stag Attacker? Okay, it's into Rillaboom. Really if it wasn't to Stag Attacker, I think it would do like 20 HP, something like that. Well played by my opponent. Like, the, the early turns were really scary. Um, but once we managed to not die to the Metagross, it was pretty cool. GG. Nice. <laughs>